So my video of last week going down the club seemed to go down quite well. So I thought I'd repeat it this week, different engine. Um, and I've got a bit of a problem as well. So I was going to bring Enterprise, the V3, but that needs to go in my wife's car, um, as the Duke did. Uh, but she's decided to go off and do a boot fair tomorrow. So it's currently full of stuff ready for the boot fair in the morning. So I've got to, if I'm going to take an engine, then I need to put it in my car, which is not exactly ideal. You'll see what I mean now. So this is my car. And although not the most practical for moving an engine it does have a fair size boot and the frame which I made which Jinty goes in fits quite nicely so Jinty it is today the Jinty and Speedy live on this trolley so I just need to wheel that to the other end of the workshop, stick the ramp out and run it down into the car. I'll show you in place. So my ramp goes from, hooks onto the trolley, sits on the back of the car, and with any luck, the engine rolls nicely. tight and the chimney just catches the shelf on the way in but it does pass. Get that out of the way. No. So because of this lip at the back I have to build up this shelf. I say build it up. It's a couple of bits of wood screws all nailed together um, which I had already. And then I'll just lift the engine, whip that out, drop it back down, and then pack everything else in. And they're all packed in. So we've got engine, toolbox, blower, coal tray, and that's it. Ready to go to the club in the morning. Well, as you see, I've already unloaded my engine. And Luke's got his out. Mixed Black 5, which is here for a boiler test, hydraulic and steam. So that's my job for the morning. And it looks like Dave has his B1 again. So, so far, should be a nice day. A bit of a leak on the blower valve. Other than that, the smoke box is dry. Our trolley test passed. He just needs to prepare for a steam test now. But while he's doing that, I will start prepping Jinty, ready for steaming up this afternoon.
when I built this engine, I fitted a uh, male pressurised hose connector on the blowdown valve so that I can fill up with water quite easily. Put the hose on, put the rubber pipe goes onto our hose pipe. And I can just crack the water on and watching the water in the cab until the water starts to appear in the glass. Coming up to five o'clock, uh, we've been in steam for two and a half hours, a little bit longer since I lit the fire, uh, just finishing public running and the loco is still going well, just doing a lap to get the signs in while the others put the way from here, so just along and stop at the bridge. Great for it, and then we can blow it down. And that is the front end after two and a half hours running. I am actually a little bit concerned about why there's no ash in this area, it makes me think there might be a slight leak somewhere in the smoke box maybe around the bottom of the blast pipe so I might have to look into that Day 2 turned up and unloaded He's been fixing his Trojan That's all done now Nick is playing with the petrol hydraulic engine and Chris is working his way around doing a bit of deep weeding all over but Dave's got his almost finished traction engine with him as well Sunday or Monday morning. It's 
without public running going on, we get the chance to do a bit of and drive the destruction to friends and family and, and kids who are part of the family. never turn down a drive of any engine unless there's a really good reason not to but on this occasion my first lap out i'd been stitched up in little bits in that the outgoing driver had left the injector on um, and as i approached the engine the injector was falling to the room so this lap got me a little bit more. Well, it's half past four. I haven't taken much video today. I've taken all the little snips, uh, mainly because some family turned up uh, earlier and, and a couple of friends. So I steamed up early. I, I lit the fire at about 12, half 12. It's been going four hours now. Um, at the moment, I've swapped engines with Alex. So Alex is driving my engine and uh, here he comes. Uh, while I drive his dad's class too, there's going to be a little same video for showing off this because it's a beautiful model. Um, yeah, it's been a, a lovely day. Weather's held off, not been overly bright, but it's been good. The uh, advantage of being in the club, I suppose, you could say. Um, this morning when my family were here, I steamed up early and all the kids had a play. So there's couple of little videos and clips and photos of them driving. I don't think I've got all of them. I don't think I've got pictures of my kids, but they drive it a lot. But yeah, I'll chop all them in and it's, it's a bit more of an overview of a, a typical day at the club. I hope you enjoy. So while I was driving around earlier on my engine, uh, I noticed something weird dropped by the side of the track. I thought it had been flung out from under the track. It, it looked like a piece of, a small piece of drain pipe or something to me. Um, well, it got handed to me a little while later. Uh, and it is actually a part of the running board off the front of my engine. It goes there. So it should be riveted on. I'm not sure how it's going. You see the, the rivets are still there, sticking through. So at some point, I'll probably drill and tap. Might have to drill slightly bigger to tap into the, the brass work and fix it with screws on. And then next time I've got the thing in pieces, I can solder it on as well. But yeah, a war wound. Four and a half hours running. So we've come to the end of the day. 
all the ash from the ash pans we chuck on the edge of the grass there uh, so one more engine to load finish locking up the buildings and then we're home for the night another bank holiday weekend well done i've now unloaded enterprise it's back in a cubby hole but what i've done i've got a piece of chain around the end of the bay here because it slopes down a bit before leveling off under the bench uh, so i've done that so that it doesn't go all the way back just to make it easier so that i can repair this in the future hopefully sometime this week but we'll see so that's it i've all unloaded i've just got to put a few more bits back in my wife's car that have to come out to make space for an engine um but other than that that's the weekend finished um it's been good weather wasn't too bad and yeah we all seem to have fun and some good runs and if you enjoyed it if you want me to do more of this sort of thing let me know if not then i'll go back to just the workshop stuff um i'll probably do these for going off to other clubs and other tracks uh, you don't want to keep seeing our club too much but yeah hope for fun